Today, the famous Kraft TV cameraman focuses on outer space for another exciting adventure in the world beyond tomorrow. Trolley to all stations. Stand by to raise ship. Blast off minus five, four, three, two, one. Yo! Tom Corbett's Space Cadet. Starring Frankie Thomas. This is the age of the conquest of space, where today a routine flight ends in disaster in the jungles of Venus, and Tom Corbett and his unit mates begin a fight for survival. Check in. Astro, check in. controls on my panel aren't working. Are they hooked up with a power relay? Sure, but that doesn't mean anything. The boosters on the relay are shot. Oh, what a ship. Half my controls are out. Don't cry on my shoulder, pal. I'm using glue and bailing wire to keep the reactors from... <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Hey, Tom. Huh? Captain Strong mad at us when he gave us this assignment? Well, no, I don't think so, TJ. Why should he have been? Well, it's a cinch he wasn't doing us any favor. Ooh, what a job. <laughs> There's nothing tough about it. Just deliver the ship to the dismantling yards of Venusport. What makes you think this old crack will even reach Venusport? Well, they should have just towed around the space and used them a target practice. No, that would have been too much waste, TJ. Look, when they scrap her, they'll find plenty of good Dura steel in her place. Hey, uh... What exactly is our position now? How far are we from Venus? No, we're not too far. We should go into deceleration orbit in about oh, five minutes. Well, then, cheer up. The trip's almost over. And after we've delivered the ship, we get two days liberty. Well, I hope I live to enjoy it. Oh, go on topside and do your crying, will you? Besides, you've uh, you got to get ready to scan us in. Scan us in? Are you kidding? A seeing-eyed dog could do a better job than the junk I have to work with. <laughs> Don't tell me he took that blasted ocarina with him again. What does it sound like? Oh, for once he's playing it at the right time and in the right place. It sounds like the ship's death rattle. <laughs> Hello, Tom, check in. Go ahead, Astro. What's wrong? Hmm? That big crash I just heard, what happened? Something hit us? Oh, no, Astro, nothing hit us. It's just that TJ, uh... Jumping, jumping! That's right. What happened? What's wrong? Reactors are going haywire. Cut all power, quick! TJ, stand by to send out distress alert. TJ, acknowledge! Oh. Astro, what happened? Oh, the reactors are going haywire down there. The steering controls are jammed. Everything's going to pieces. Look, can we land the ship? No, not a chance. Yeah, why didn't you answer my call? The intercoms must be out, TJ. How far are we from Venus now? Oh, about 200 miles and closing fast. We've got to start decelerating. We can't, TJ. The ship won't respond. Oh, that's great. We'll splash ourselves all over the planet. Yeah. We're heading right for it. Good luck. Wait. Tom, can you fix it? I don't know. Yeah, Watch out. Look. We're spinning. Tom, we can hang on. All right, TJ. Yeah. Astro? Yeah, Tom, we got to get out of here. Let's find out. The no, we haven't got the power to launch her. Listen, get into your spacesuits. We gotta bail out. This far from Venus? Now look, TJ, at the rate we're going, we'll be lucky if we get out at all. Stop talking and fly. Go ahead, Astro. Strong. I thought you'd be on your way to Mars by now. Well, I've already canceled my flight, Commander Arkwright. Oh? I just received a report from Venusport, sir. A ship just crashed into the Venusian jungle. It's in the eastern hemisphere, north of the equator. 
Well, does Manus Board know what ship it was? No positive confirmation, sir. Sir, the Polaris unit was flying an old rocket ship out to be scrapped. Hmm. She's 15 minutes overdue, and they haven't been able to contact her yet. Well, what about any other space traffic? All scheduled flights have been accounted for, sir. Well, it might have been a tramp freighter, then. It's possible. The odds are against it under the circumstances. Yes, I suppose you're right. The uh, eastern hemisphere of Venus, you said? That's right, sir. Uh -huh. Any further information than that? Well, it's north of the equator, near the 57th parallel. That's as close as Space Station 3 could locate it. North of the equator, 57th parallel. Let's see, that would put it in this area about here. That's pretty rough country, Strong. Nothing but jungle and swampland. No settlements for hundreds of miles. Well, sir, Venusport has already sent out a search party, and I'd like your permission to take the Polaris and go join them, sir. Of course. Thank you, sir. As a matter of fact, I think I'll join you. All right, sir. Why so surprised, Captain Strong? There's no regulations at Space Academy that says that the old commander has to stay behind when his boys are in trouble. No, sir. We're wasting time, Strong. Aye, aye, sir. Astro. Astro. Can you hear me? Check in. TJ. TJ, this is Tom. Acknowledge. Oh, well. T.J. Ah! Wait a minute! Ah! Oh, it's you. <laughs> you tell me it was you. You never gave me a chance. Oh, I've been looking all over this blasted jungle for you. Well, same here. I've been wearing out my belt communicator trying to call you. Look, why didn't you answer? Oh, mine's busted. Oh. Busted when I landed. I Listen, see. have you found Astro? No. I was just about to ask you if you'd seen him land. No, no. I was too busy trying to keep from plowing into a tree. Oh. Well, he couldn't have come down too far away. Tell you what, T.J. You go off in that direction. See, I'll head up this way. Yeah. Uh, Maybe uh, we uh, can... Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. Well, you go, I go. Yeah, but we, we stand a much better chance of finding Astro if we yeah. separate. Yeah, I know, no, no. We stand a much better chance of losing each other again, too. <laughs> well, you may have a point there. Tell you what, T.J. Huh? We'll head off this way, see? Take a wide circle around the whole area where we landed. All right. Good. And watch out for the snakes. Yeah, snakes? Sure. This whole place is loaded with them. Well, how can you see them in the ground, fog? Just do your best. Come on. Huh? Okay. Oh, my feet are killing me. Yeah. Watch out where you sit. Huh? Remember the snakes. Yeah, I'll stand. Lester, now what could have happened to Astro? He he wasn't that far away from us when we bailed out of the ship. But hey, you hear what I hear? By the craters of Luna. I never thought I'd be happy to hear that sound. Oh, that's great. The ship is going to crash. He remembers to take that thing. Well, thank heavens he did. We might not have found him otherwise. Sounds like he's getting closer. Yeah. Hey, T.J., look. Bravo! Encore! T.J., Oh, brother, am I glad to see you. Same here, Astro. Oh, very pretty plank. For a change, we liked it. Well, I couldn't think of what else to do. I was getting hoarse hollering for you. Well, why didn't you use your communicator? I lost it when I landed. Oh, well, at least we've still got mine. Yeah, but what good is that going to do? We're in the middle of nowhere. Nobody from miles around will hear that signal. I won't use it for sending, T.J. I'm going to use it to receive it. Receive, receive what? Animal fries? Listen. What's that? Hey, wait a minute. I remember now. Isn't that the signal from one of the rescue stations? Right. Rescue station? Sure. They've got space huts spotted all over this jungle, TJ, about 30 miles apart. They're stocked with food, medicine, water, anything. Sure. Anybody who's lost in this jungle only has to find one of the rescue stations, and he's okay. Well, great. How do we find it? Well, just home on this beam, TJ. It's, uh, it's a self sending beam right out of the hut. Now, once we get there, we can use the audio receiver to call the solar guard, then just sit back and wait to be rescued. That's right, and all the comforts of home. Well, well, what are we waiting for? Not a thing. We'll have to scout around a bit, of course. Go through the jungle and figure out which direction the sound is strongest. Uh, let's go this way, Tom. All right. Hey. Get up, uh, Well, let's not go that way. It doesn't look very promising. No. Uh... <clears throat> A 
I've just received another report from the Solar Guard station on Venusport, sir. They've narrowed down the search. They should be able to find the wreckage of the ship pretty easily, then. I'm afraid not, sir. I'm afraid not. According to the original report, the ship crashed up when she landed. Yes, Won't see much of it. The ground had showed traces of the crash. Well, I suppose so. Oh, don't worry, Strong. I'm sure the boys bail out before the crash. They must have had time. They're probably safe in the jungle right now. That's just it, Commander. How, how safe can they be in that area? Why not? Well, they're right in the middle of the volcano belt. Volcano belt? Yes, sir, and any one of them is apt to erupt at any time. Oh. Well, how far are we away from Venus now? Oh, a good half hour, sir. We'll make it in 20 minutes. Yes, sir. Listen, fellas. This signal can't get much stronger. We must be getting pretty close to the space hut. Yeah, we could be standing right next to it and not even know it. Yeah. Hey, let's keep going straight, Tom. All right. Why not? Say, there she is. Well, what do you know? <laughs> oh. oh, man. Space Academy couldn't look any better to me right now. And how? Gee, I hope they got plenty of food in there. I'm starved. Well, we'll find out in just a minute, after. Hey, what? What's that? Sounded like thunder. Maybe it's going to rain. Yeah, the, does the ground shake you know, when it thunders around you? Ground shake? I didn't feel anything. Me neither. You must be imagining things, TJ. Come on, let's go in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There. Hey, this is real neat. Mm-hmm. All the comforts of home. Yeah, look, TJ, they've even got an... TJ! Hey, what are you doing out here? I heard that thunder again. I could... I swear, I thought the ground moved. <laughs> Forget it, will you? Come on in, take a look at the palace we've got. How do you like it, TJ? Food, bunks, everything. Hey, not bad, not bad. Mm. Spending our time here waiting to be rescued is going to be no pain at all. Oh, just feel these mattresses, fellas, soft enough to lie down. Don't get too comfortable already. We've got to uh, contact the nearest solar guard station. Tell them where we are. T.J. is our communications expert. I wouldn't think of trying to do his work. Oh, of course you wouldn't. Well, I switched her on, T.J. She's registering maximum power output. Oh, that's all I need. What do you stand at frequency, huh? Yeah. That's all. Calling a solar guard. Calling a solar guard. This is Cadet T.J. Thistle of the Polaris unit. Calling the solar guard. Acknowledge, please. Calling the solar guard. This is Cadet T.J. Thistle of the Polaris unit. Come in, please. Acknowledge... Captain Strong to Commander Arkwright. Check in, please. Go ahead, Strong. Over the search area now, sir. I'd suggest quartering the southern segment. The Venusport squadron is to the north of us. Very good. And Strong, keep your audio, Seba, tuned to standard frequency. The boys may have reached one of the rescue stations and be trying to signal us. Aye, aye, sir. Calling the solar guard. Come in, please. Calling the solar guard. Acknowledge. I don't know, I can't get any answer out of that thing. Do you think uh, something might be wrong with the gear, TJ? Well, everything checks out all right in the panel. Mm-hmm. Listen, the trouble might be in the transmitting antenna up on the roof. You know, this jungle's pretty damp. Some of the wires might have become corroded. Well, they shouldn't be, but it's worth checking, I suppose. No. I'll take care of it, TJ. You make absolutely sure that everything's okay with that panel. Okay? Mm -hmm. Anything I can do, Tom? Well, I don't know, Astro. If I need any help, I'll call you. Okay. Say, I better turn down the light a little bit. We'll save some power that way. Now. Look, do you have to play that blasted thing now? TJ, I thought you liked it. And remember, it brought us back together again. I know what is going to drive us apart again if you don't cut it out. I don't know. I can't find anything wrong with this thing. Well, then, just sit down and relax and let me entertain you. Yeah, no, no, no. If you're going to play that thing, I'm going outside. Be careful of the snakes, TJ. Better the snakes than you. Hey, Tom. Yes, TJ. Everything checks out okay on the pile. You find anything up there? Sure did. Some of these wires were torn loose. Probably happened during a storm. I'll help you. No, no, don't bother, TJ. I can handle it. Go back inside and relax. Relax? With Astro working over that ocarina of his again? Oh, well, why don't you try our old remedy? See if you can locate some cut. Yeah. Can you
Can you say what? Say what, PJ? Oh, never mind. End of this leg strong. Well, might as well turn, Commander. Better take a westerly heading this time. Very well. well they haven't gotten to a rescue station either. Well, perhaps they haven't had time. Those rescue stations are 30 miles apart after all, and that jungle's pretty thick down there. Yes, sir. I was hoping that the boys would hear the sound of the ship and try and signal us somehow. Great galaxy. What's the matter, Storm? Have you found them? No, sir, but there's smoke coming out of the jungle. And over there, too. Smoke? What in blazes? Don't you understand, sir? That smoke is coming from cracks in the ground. It's feeding off the volcanoes. In a little while, that whole area will be blanketed. The gas and the heat will kill everything for miles around. That's right. All ships are to converge on this area. You will keep your audio receiver tuned to standard frequency in case the boys have reached a rescue hut and are trying to contact us. That is all in transmission. Steam still coming out of the ground, Steve? Oh, yes. Worse than ever. Coming out in five or six new places now. Pretty yes. soon this whole area will be blanketed by it. The boys must have noticed it by now. I doubt it, sir. The jungle's pretty thick. You can't see three feet ahead of you. Even if they have noticed it, what can they do about it? I made all the connections to the antenna. We should be able to transit and net now. How's I want where to find out? Yeah. Hey! Don't tell me you didn't feel that. I sure did. Get that call out. I'm going outside and have a look around. I'll go with you, Tom. Okay. Hurry it up, TJ. Hey! Jumping, Jupiter! Calling the solar guard. This is Cadet TJ Thistle Palaz. You're calling the solar guard. Come in, please. Come in, please. Captain Strong, back to Thistle. Captain Strong. Thistle, are you all right? What about Corbett and Astro? Oh, we're fine, sir, but there's something funny going on down here. Well, it's hardly funny, Thistle. It's dangerous. Where are you? A rescue station, sir. Yeah, but which one? Uh, I don't know, sir. Well, look on the communications panel, Thistle. There's a code number on it. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah, number eight, sir. Oh, good. Now, we're not far from you. We'll blast over and touch down in the cleared section a quarter mile west of the station. Meet us there. But, okay, sir, but what's going on? We're in trouble. That whole jungle is full of live steam and gas. Have you contacted anyone yet? Yeah, I'm talking to Captain Strong right Hello, now. Hello, Thistle. Sir. Blast out of that hut, will you? Get to the clearing. Aye, you don't aye, have sir. much time. Aye, aye, sir. 
don't know about you guys, but for once, I'm a bad artist. Right. Willing us to the west of the station, Tom. Okay, TJ. Hey, Astro, what's holding you up? Yeah, I'm with you, Tom. All right. Coming, TJ! Hey, which way now? Uh, straight ahead. Hey, there's the ship, boys. Come on, coming in. Let's go. Controls are set strong. We can blast off the instant the boys are aboard. You see them yet? No, sir. Can't see a thing with all that steam down there. I can feel the heat in here. I only hope the boys can make it. All right, fellas, there's the ship. Come on. Again. What? Hey, Again. quick, Tom. I got him. All right, TJ, don't worry. We'll get you there. Bet we will. I got a score to settle with you, pal. You don't cock out on me now. Do you see them yet, Strong? No, sir. Shouldn't take them this long to get here. Unless they got lost. Or maybe they couldn't make it in that heat. I'm going out to get them. Oh, no, Strong. Yes, sir, I No, no, you're only risking your life foolishly. Suppose you were to be lost, too. You wouldn't be of any help to the cadets. And... Corbett to Captain Strong. Check in, please, sir. Captain Strong here, Corbett. Go ahead. Right here, sir. The portal is closed. Brace yourselves, boys. This is going to be a fast takeoff. And, uh, Commander, when the old ship went out of control, why... We didn't have any choice but to bail out, sir, and I'm awfully sorry that we lost the ship for you. Don't worry about it, Corbett. I'm only thankful that we didn't lose the three of you. Thank you, Commander. You know, for a while there, I thought we were sitting real pretty in that rescue station. It was real nice and comfortable. Mm. Uh, except for the wildlife, huh, T.J.? What wildlife? There wasn't any wildlife. <laughs> Could you use this, T.J.? 